Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. But I'll start the vlog. I took a few days off this week from videoing. My allergies have been driving me crazy. And I just need a little bit of a break. So we'll pick back up where we left off at Walmart during my grocery pickup. I got my text, it's ready. The cool thing, and I don't know if it's all Walmarts, but my store texted me that it was ready. I was supposed to pick up between 11 and 12. It's 11, they texted me at 11. And I just texted back and said I was here, what parking spot and what color my car is. Now I just wait. I even opened up my back end and they will come and load it and shut the door. I'm not the only one here. So what's going on with you guys? been a long week for me busy at work and headache just sinus pressure with the changing of the seasons but we're gonna do some sewing today my sister-in-law asked me if I would help her make some masks for the US Navy um, I need to get those to her this weekend so I'm making 50 now she already cut them out and took care of that for me so I just have to sew them together so we're gonna do that today and we're gonna make a turkey breast why not I have it I thought it mostly I think I'll cook it today and make some mashed cauliflower to go with it all right well, let's wait and see what happens with our pickup Hello, you my... did you see your substitution town availability yes all done yep No, thank you. If you could, thank you. All right, no problem. Have a good one. You too. Easy peasy. All right, we're pulling out. That was so easy. I know some people have mentioned that they were having trouble at their specific store. I guess I'm very lucky that my store has not had any issues that I have not, I guess, experienced any issues. Uh, this is only my second time. But I'm okay with that. Um, if you want to try it out too, there is a link down below. It will be um, $10 off a $50 order. So I thought that was nice. Um, and I think I get one too. So we both will get $10 off of 50 So I'm not really couponing right now. Obviously because of what's happening. Um, so at least this is a way for me to save a little bit of money. Now we're going to come up on my Joanne's door that again has a line a mile long kind of sad for these folks but I did have an issue at this store with the curbside pickup they don't seem to have enough staff to do both curbside and handle the shoppers so these are these people not standing six feet apart nobody wearing the masks well some people are and this is going down again, almost to the end of the area. And then the rest of the stores, well that's Dress Barn, it actually shut down. And I'm assuming something else was supposed to go in there, but I'm not sure what. So I don't know, but I'm hungry. I kind of ran out of food. <laughs> okay, that's not true. I just ran out of easy food. So I got my order. Oh, and you know what else we're gonna make next week is um, some spice blends. Cause I am out of my ranch blend, my onion soup blend, my Italian blend, and something else that I like to, oh, taco seasoning. I'm out of all the seasoning blends. Um, I like to make my own because there's less preservatives, starch, and sugar added. So a lot of, if you read the packaging on your spice blends, a lot of times they add sugar, maltodextrin, dextrose, starch, 
all kinds of stuff that's not ideal for me. So once every couple months, I mix up these four basic blends and I use them. And um, part of my Walmart pickup was a bunch of spices. All right, let's get home. Okay, we're home from Walmart and I will show you what I got. First of all, they gave me this cute little bag. I'm wondering if it's for like Mother's Day or something. And then inside there's all kinds of samples and coupons and things, which is in interesting. It's a cute little bag. So I grabbed that. I got another pound of my ham off the bone. I love this ham. It's really good. And it's $5.98 a pound-ish. Sour cream. I just have to learn my volumes. Like, this is a lot of sour cream. I didn't realize I was getting a, this large of a container. Um, I got a box for the boys of some wet food. Wellington seems to like these right now. And it comes with 24 twin packs, so 48 servings for him. Here's one of my substitutions, which I find interesting. I ordered two 16-ounce containers, so half of this. They were out of the 16 ounce, so they gave me two 32 ounce. I mean, that's super nice of them, and I'll use it. I mean, these are good until June, so that's not a problem, but I just thought that was an interesting switch. I apparently like pepper jack cheese. I ordered, well, what I ordered was the Great Value Pepper Jack, which I feel like I thought I was ordering a different cheese, but whatever. Um, and I ordered a craft. They were out of the craft, so they substituted a bigger block of this pepper jack so I will probably freeze one because I won't eat all that um, I ran into Target because I needed my I wanted needed wanted my maple brown sugar this one of the only stores in my area that carries the sugar free got some Parmesan cheese here's all my spices we got cayenne I needed some dill I was out of time oregano, minced onion, onion powder. The other reason I went into Target, um, Walmart was out of garlic powder. I grabbed my cheese whisks. These are my favorite. And I will tell you, this is $3 for this size bag and a bag probably five times larger at Costco is like $10. So I need to get to Costco, but for now this is fine. And then I grabbed also for lunches, these are individually bagged pork rinds little like lunch sizes and I thought that was fun I love pork rinds so that's it that's my order I didn't need a lot but I needed some fill-in things I did, it was out of lunch meat and cheese and my spices to make my blend because I'm gonna be cooking a turkey breast today all right well that's everything I got in my Walmart grocery pickup today who guys this is what I've been doing all day sitting in this window sewing masks my sister-in-law i think she volunteered to make 300 of these for a u.s navy ship leaving out of california they like i said they needed 300 she i can't find elastic here but she was able to get the fabric and the elastic and dropped off enough for me to make 50 to help her out so these are getting shipped off to the uss something something <laughs> leaving out of California, I guess like in the next week or two. And they needed some masks. So that's what I spent my Saturday doing with my little sewing machine and staring at a beautiful windy day. Yeah, now I'm hungry. Let's go get something to eat. Okay, guys, we are going to make some twice baked cauliflower, if you will. Almost like a ranch style potato. We're going to cook up some cauliflower. Actually, I need to get another bag out. And then I'm going to drain it really well. Mix it with butter and cream cheese and ranch seasoning and bacon. And then bake it back in the oven. So first we gotta bring this up to a boil and we'll cook our cauliflower. Not real exciting, but it needs to be done. So we'll cook up the cauliflower. Need a little more water. And then I'll drain it and squeeze all of the water out of it in a piece of tea towel. This kind of a towel, it's it's hard to explain, but there's no lint to it. It's not like a regular towel, it's a tea cloth. But what I do is put the cauliflower in the middle and then I squeeze out all the water. And that will keep it 
from being overly moist because we don't want moist twice baked cauliflower now do we and then I have a turkey here let me move it this way we're gonna season the one side it's not ready to go in the oven yet it's coming to room temperature but I will take some of my Italian seasoning that I made and I'll season the bottom um, and let it kind of sit here and finish it's thawed but you just really want it to kind of come to room temperature and then I'll stick it in the oven and it'll take about an hour and a half we'll bring it up to about 165 68 170 I think is the temperature that makes it cooked but you want to take it out of like a degree or two under because you're gonna let it sit and it'll have carryover cooking it will go in a bigger pan than this but it's right now just kind of doing its thing I wanted to get a little more toward room temperature make sure it's thawed and then I'm going to um, flip it put it in a different pan and rub butter under the skin to allow it to season the breast but the bottom side we'll just give that a little sprinkle of the seasoning so right now it's still pretty cold I just took it out about 10 20 minutes ago so I will show you all that once I'm ready to put it in the oven on 325 crazy huh but you want to kind of cook it at that temperature you don't want to overcook it'll end up drying up and we don't want that and this will be meals for the week and then probably freeze some for later use so that's where we're at now all right guys I've got it in a glass pan it's doing pretty good I'm gonna set the thermometer first and then I'm gonna butter it up on the outside and you want to make sure your thermometer is not touching a bone because that will skew your temperature I already put this butter mixture underneath and I just have a little left to put on the top most of the top butter ends up melting into the bird or into the pan but just to have a little on there to uh, crispen up the skin I guess so I dried this with a paper towel the problem is oh temperatures up see like <laughs> getting butter to stick to the outside of a turkey is not easy but we're just gonna smear some on here right and I have my thermometer set for 168 and when I take it out and let it just sit there'll be carryover cooking all right now I'm just gonna smush this on top come on it doesn't want to stick but there we go I think my also my butter is a little cold because it's chilly in here but that's okay I'm gonna salt and pepper a little bit on the outside of the skin In one second and then we're gonna put it in the oven and let it come out to the temperature And that should take about an hour to an hour and a half ish hard it's hard to tell but that's what it should do and my cauliflower was gross I don't know what happened it was still frozen but it was like brown the bag stuff so I'll just use this one thing of riced cauliflower and that'll be fine so I just put a little salt and pepper on the outside of the skin And my thermometer set it stays on the outside of the oven and then this turkey breast goes on the inside I got this after Thanksgiving on a really good sale at Target actually so there we go the turkey breast itself was still a little cold so it'll take some time to come up to temperature and then when it comes out I'll bake my cauliflower Yes, I should bring you over here um, I have a little bit of cream cheese softening at room temperature and then I took some sour cream and some of my ranch mix that I made and I'm having it rehydrate in there oh so yeah I'm just gonna boil up this cauliflower and get everything moving here 
All right, friends, we've got the cauliflower cooked, and I have it wrapped up in this cheesecloth type stuff. It's not cheesecloth, it's a tea towel or a bread towel. Um, what I do is, it's really hot, so I wrap it, and then I take my potato masher, and I just push all the water out. Only because I want it hot to finish melting. I think I have like two tablespoons of cream cheese in here, maybe a tablespoon of butter, and then there is some, I had leftover bacon, and then my cauliflower. See, there's not a lot in there because I squished out all the water and I was anticipating two packages, but this is fine. I'll just make it a small serving. And then I'm gonna add some of this cream cheese or sour cream. I won't add it all. And what I can do is leave the rest for dip. I'll mix it with some more sour cream and just make a ranch dip. But you don't want too much of, you know, the liquidy stuff. And then I'm just mixing it up. Let me get my pan down. It's gonna all go in this size pan. It's tiny. But that's okay. And then I'm going to mix some cheese in here and the rest will go on top. And then what I'll do is throw this in the oven. When I take the turkey breast out and let it sit, I will throw this in the oven. How easy is that? Now, here's my little pan. I have no idea where I got it. I've had it for a very long time. Went years. And I just love it. Just grab a spoon out of here. And that is it. This is my twice baked cauliflower. It's a casserole like, right? And um, I don't know if I've ever mentioned, which I feel like I have. I had gastric sleeve, so stomach surgery. So I don't eat. Mm, that's delicious. I don't eat a ton at a time. So this little thing will be probably three or four servings for me of the veg and then we'll just spread the cheese out and then this will just sit and cool and then I'll put it in the fridge um, my, my, my turkey won't be ready for several hours and so I'll let this come to room temp and then I'll throw it in the refrigerator and let it do its thing and everything else is done and ready the turkey's at 50 degrees right now we've got a little ways to go all right, friends, here's my turkey breast. I'm getting ready to carve it up. Oh, I love it. It came up to temperature, and now it's cool enough that it won't lose all its juices. And here's my twice-baked cauliflower in my little tiny pan. So I'll carve everything up and pack it away, and this will be my dinner and lunches for the next few days. I hope you enjoyed.